Race fans, the moment you've all been waiting for as what started out with 32 cars is now down to the final four as we bring you the C Bruno Buckmaster presents Concept Chaos here at the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League. Correction, that's a cousin Ricky owner of Diecast Racing League featuring everyone's favorite cousin Ricky. <laughs> Well, I guess we still haven't figured out what Cousin Ricky is broadcasting from, have we, Funk? Oh, you can rest assured we're going to figure it out and put a stop to his so-called Cousin Ricky order. Well, actually, Funk, according to the contract you signed... Oh, you know what, Bubba Joe? You can just take that contract and you can cram it. Uh, Funk, do you really think that's such a good idea? I'll deal with that later. Right now, we have our driver introductions to get down to for the Concept Chaos Final. Starting us off in the fourth place spot, he qualified for the tournament second overall, and from round one through the semifinals, he accumulated a total of 48 points and four wins. For DRT 3K Racing, it's Sam Hall! Up next, starting in the seventh place spot, he qualified for the tournament seventh overall, and from round one through the semifinals, he accumulated a total of 48 points and seven wins in his 2005 Mitsubishi Eclipse. For Flips Racing, it's Flip. Tag in, starting in the second place spot, he qualified for the tournament sixth overall, and up through the semi-final rounds, he accumulated a total of 49 points and five wins. For Milestone Racing, it's Dusty Miles! Oh dear God, anyways, finally starting on the pole, he qualified for the tournament third overall, and through the semi-final rounds, he dominated with a total of 50 points and five wins. For Nums Goal Racing, it's... Nums go! As the cars are lining up here on the starting grid, let's talk about the rules as per usual here at the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League. The finals consist of eight races where the cars' starting positions are inverted at the halfway point. Well, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, as it is finally time for the c Rono Buckminster presents Concept Chaos Finals as race one is now underway! Off the slot on gear for the first time, it's Numskull leading them down into turn one with Dusty Miles close in tail. Heading down in the turn two, Dusty gets a good run as he gets a long Numskull through the chicane. Here comes Flip as we have a three-way battle for the lead now, but Numskull breaks away as he goes down into turn four. Down the final stretch, he's going to come across the line first. Oh, what about that battle for the second place spot as we had a photo finish between Dusty and Flip. Sam Hall playing it safe, staying out of that mix as he comes into fourth place spot as we check out that track time by Numskull. Now let's go back and check out that Merch by Meek and Replay camera as here you see a three-way battle for the lead as they come out of the chicane heading down to turn three flip gives numbskull a huge shove as he gets a little bit of momentum and pulls away as you still have a battle taking place now between dusty and flip as they head down in the turn four watching that one more time there you see dusty regains that second place spot as there you see numbskull starts to pull away watching him come out of turn four down the final stretch numbskull has it all to himself although he gets a little squirrely just before coming down the line but watch the battle for the second place as we freeze frame it here at the line and it looks like flip just barely beats out dusty for that second place spot. Now let us update the leaderboard as to no one's surprise. There you see the first strike is put down by Numskull as he puts five points on the board and flip right there behind him with four. Well, I'm sure with seven races left to go, there's plenty of room for surprises. <laughs> it's race two. I'll say the last thing we need is a surprise from you, Ricky. Why don't you just crawl back into your hole and disappear? Well, I had to be visible first to disappear. <laughs> as much as I hate to interrupt your bickering, we have a race going on as we have a battle going on in the third turn. Rabbit's 
racing as he is the Dusty Miles has just taken off as he's gonna come across the line in first. Sam Hart is gonna come in second, followed by Num Scott, and there is Flip coming in fourth. Come on, Nigel, are you just gonna go along with Ricky? Well, unlike you, Funk, I am not gonna get in trouble with this contract dispute. Oh, dear God. Anyways, let's watch this merch by me can replay camera as keep your eyes on Sam Hall as he gets a great run heading down in the turn two, passing Numbskull and making a charge for the lead. Numbskull gets another run as now we have a three-way battle as they come out of the chicane, but unfortunately he and Sam Hall get together as they head down into turn three. Now you see Flip getting into the mix as Sam Hall is able to save his car from disaster as Dusty goes on for the win. And as we added the points and update that leaderboard, there you see we now have a two-way tie for the first place and second place spot. Well, if they keep battling like this, it'll only be a matter of time before my services are needed. No, oh, dear God, now you're getting into the mix, Bubba Joe. Hey, it's the finals, and it's race three. I guess we're just going to be a melting pot of commentary today. Oh, how delightful. Anyways, they are tight as they head down the turn one, but Flip makes a huge jump through the S-turns, taking lead in the turn two. Looks like Sam had a little bit of trouble as he went through the chicane as the cars are now battling behind Flip as he is going to come down to the line. Flip's going to come in first, followed by Numbskull in second. Oh, looks like we had some trouble coming out of turn four as Dusty Miles is into the pit wall, as there you see Sam Hall coming across the line backwards. Well, it looks like Bubba Joe spoke his services into existence. <laughs> Ricky, a DNF is never a laughing matter as here we have the emergency crews checking in on Dusty Miles as he's sitting down there at the entrance of the pit road. Luckily, he did not hit the tire barrier. Let's check out the merch by me in the camera and see exactly what just happened. There you see Flip with a great run as he heads out in the turn two as he takes the lead from Sam Hall. Then you see Numbskull also taking the lead as it looks like Sam Hall is having some issues, but he's able to battle back as he comes out of the chicane as he and Numbskull get together once again before heading into turn three. While that's happening, Flip is able to break away as we back up and watch the turn three camera one more time as here you see Numbskull and Sam Hall stuck together as they go down the super stretch. Now you have Dusty and Sam Hall stuck together as they're going down. Dusty is trying his best to get past Sam Hall, but Sam Hall just will not get out of the way. Of course with all that rubbing, somebody's got to give as there you see Sam Hall ends up pushing Dusty down to the apron. Of course with that DNF that's going to hurt Dusty in the points as he falls down to last place, but he's still only four points behind the leader of Numbskull who has 12. However, Flip is just one point behind him, but does he have what it takes to knock Numbskull off that top? spot. Oh, one way to find out is it's time for race four. Flip leads them off as they head down into turn one, but Numbskull is right there on his rear bumper as they head through the S-turns down into turn two. Numbskull gets a good run as he challenges for lead through the chicane, but Flip pulls back away as they head down into turn three. All trouble is Flip gets loose and he gets slammed by the other drivers as he's now backwards as they come down the line. And what a finish. What a finish indeed as Flip is able to regain control of his car and secure that first place spot. However, it looks like someone lost out when the cars got tangled up together as there you see Sam Hall being checked out by the emergency crews as he's sitting down at the entrance at turn four on the super stretch. Well, let's go back and watch the replay and see exactly what just happened is here you see the car is heading down into turn three. Here you'll see Sam Hall gives Dusty a huge shove as he tries to make a move underneath Numbskull. However, Flip gets turned sideways and he gets slammed by both Numbskull and Dusty as they head down into turn four. As we go back and watch the turn three camera, here you see Sam Hall stuck behind the group, slams on his brakes and he unfortunately loses control of his car as he comes to a halt right there before the entrance of turn three. And as you watch the cars come out of turn four, there you see Flip hits the inside retaining wall then he gets pushed around by Dusty as they come down to the line and Flip's going to be able to secure that first place spot as we go to the halfway point. And after the first four races, as we tally up the points, we now have a new leader as Flip sits on top of the board with 16 points. Then you have Numbskull right there behind him with 15. Dusty with a great recovery after that DNF. He's in the third place spot with 12 points. And then you have Sam Hall sitting down there at the bottom with 9 points. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we still have four races left to go before we crown a champion. So we'll be right back in just a minute with the second half. has been brought to you by the Cousin Ricky Order. <laughs> That's right, Cousin Ricky fans. You've been asking, and here they are. It's the all-new line of Cousin Ricky t-shirts straight from Merch by Meekin. And to go along with every single t-shirt sale, you also get the brand new CRO Cousin Ricky Order stickers. And speaking of Cousin Ricky Order shirts, they're available in multiple sizes, so be sure to go to MerchByMeekin.com and order yours today. Oh, and just like how I've hijacked Funkhauser's channel, I've also hijacked the prices on his merchandise, as all shirts are now on sale for $19.99. So be sure to go to MerchByMeekin.com, on Facebook, or call and order yours today when I still have control. <laughs> the preceding announcement has been brought to you by the cousin, Ricky Order. I told you. 
Welcome back to the action here at the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League as we are ready to bring you the second half of the finals of the Sea Run of Buckminster Presents Concept Chaos, sponsored by Merch by Meekin. I think it's funny how you keep calling it the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League when it's the Cousin Ricky order signs that are all over the track. Oh my god, who has been approving to have these things put up all over the place? Need I remind you, you did sign that. Contract, I get it. Whoa, no need to get snippy at me. And why shouldn't I? You're the one who wrote the dang thing. Well, Funk, to be a devil's advocate, you really didn't read the thing before you signed no, it. Oh my god, enough with this stupid contract nonsense. We have a finals to finish up. Well, as Funk said, as we look at the leaderboard here, there you see Flip on the top of the board with 16 points, with Numskull right there behind him with 15. We still have plenty of racing left to go as anything can happen as we are set and ready for race 5, which is now underway. And the second half of our finals is off as there you see Sam Hall leading the pack down in the turn 1 with Flip right there next to him as Flip takes lead heading down in the turn 2. Flip starts to pull away as they head down into turn 3 as Sam Hall is right there on his bumper as they head down the super stretch. Here comes Sam Hall with the move on the Oh, huge trouble. Flip is on his win as Sam Hall comes across the line in first. Sam Hall makes a move underneath Flip and causes him to lose control of his car as everyone passes by him and he ends up with a DNF. Well, I see Flip is living up to his name at least. <laughs> oh my god, Ricky, will you please stop making fun of our drivers when they wreck their cars? Well, it seems that Flip is alright as he is being checked out by the emergency crews. So let's check out this merch by Meekin replay camera as here you see Flip has a nice lead as he heads down into turn 3. Sam Hall gets a good run on him as they come out of the turn as he gets a shove from Numskull down the super stretch. Sam Hall gives Flip a push as this causes him to get loose and go high in the turn 4. Then you see Numskull just slams Flip right into the outside retaining wall as this causes him to roll over as they come across the line. Changing up the angle one more time, there you see Flip getting slammed right into the wall by Numskull and then Numskull hits him one more time as all the cars come across the line and Flip ends up with a DNF. And this is our third race in a row with a DNF as there you see Numskull sitting back on top of the board with 19 points as Flip has fallen back to second with 16. Some will say that's a dirty move by Numskull, but as I always say, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. And it's time for racing! Well, I have not known Numskull to be a dirty driver, but anyways, as the cars head down into turn one, it's Flip with the lead as they head down into turn three. Oh, trouble, huge trouble. Numskull just completely loses control of his car in turn two as Flip has broken away. Oh, geez, I'm definitely going to be needed for this one. Oh, this is definitely a bad wreck as there you see Flip comes across the line at first, followed by Dusty in second, and then here comes Sam Hall in third. I'm starting to think there may be a curse over the track as that's four DNFs in a row as we check out that truck time put down by Flip. Enough about the time. Let's go check in on Numskull as there you see him sitting down there at the bottom. Yes, that's him down there before turn four, right off the edge of the cliff next to our production truck as he has landed on one of our vehicles. I must say that is one of the worst wrecks we have seen here at the old Yakin Valley Speedway as an eerie silence has fallen over the fans as they look on as Numskull is being loaded into the back of the ambulance. Numskull is being loaded up and taken to the infield care center and while that's taking place, let's go and check out this merch by making replay camera as here you see Numskull gets a great run on flip as he heads down in the turn two, but he just completely loses loses control of his car as the back end gets out from behind him and his car rolls over. Watching one more time, his car loses complete control as now he is just along for the ride as he gets pushed around by the other drivers. As we switch up the angle one last time, there you see his car completely losing control. He gets slammed by the other drivers and then he goes up and over the railing and down the edge of the cliff. Well, I said with this eerie science falling over the track, it's a perfect time to talk about my midnight club. Wait, do what? That's right. The Cousin Ricky Order Diecast Racing League is holding its first event called the Midnight Club. 16 muscle cars taking on 16 tuners in the ultimate street racing war. Ricky, you can't be serious right now. Only about as serious as a driver in a coma. You didn't just say that. Please tell me he didn't just say that. And besides, who's giving you permission to hold this event on the track? Permission? Who the heck says I need permission? <laughs> oh, dear God. Now I have to deal with this. Well, I guess we'll post more information about it as it comes out. Just stick around, fans. Well, while you were doing that, we checked in on Team Numskull, who is walking on his car, and Numskull has actually come out of the infield care center. He has climbed back into his car, and he is actually going to be racing once again. He's seriously climbing back into the vehicle? Now that is extremely impressive. Well, that or he's suffering from some Dane Bramage. <laughs> oh, my God, Ricky! Race 7 is underway as they head down the back stretch into turn 1. It's Numskull with the lead over the other drivers as he seems to be handling that car just fine after that horrible wreck. And he is not looking back as there you see Dusty try to make a move as he slams the wall and Flip makes a pass as Numskull pulls further away as they come down the line. Numskull with a great recovery. He comes across the line in first. Like you said, Funk, a great recovery by Numskull as he comes back from that horrible wreck with a first place finish and an amazing track time. And how about Flip with that amazing pass for second place as we watch the cars go through the chicane. Keep your 
your eyes on Dusty as it looks like he tried to clip Numbskull's bumper but hits the inside retaining wall, then Flip just makes a move on the inside of him makes a clean pass. Of course, this is exactly what Numbskull wanted to see as this gives him the opportunity to pull away and take that first place spot, putting five more points on the board. Well, as you see, there's that five points put down by Numbskull, which puts him within one point of our leader Flip, who has 25 points as we head into the final race. And there you see Dusty with just three points behind him. He is still within striking distance to be our champion. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. It all comes down to this. It's time for the final race. Who will be our champion? Off the stalling grid and down the back stretch one final time, Dusty Mars leaves him down into turn one with Numbskull right there behind him. Dusty keeping some good distance into turn two as they head down to the chicane. Oh, looks like Sam Hall's getting a little bit loose as he gets in front of Flip. Oh, we have a battle for the lead as Dusty and Numbskull get together, heading down to turn four. Here they come down to the line. It's going to be Dusty Miles taking that final win. Numbskull looking to take that last five points to seal the deal, but Dusty was able to hold him off and secure his win. And that's exactly what Flip wanted to see as we go and check out their merch by making replay camera. Here you see the cars coming out of turn two. As you see, Dusty has a great lead, and here comes Numbskull trying to make a move. As there you see, Sam Hall gets loose before hitting into turn three. There you see, Flip makes a move over top of him as he makes a clean pass. And there, here you see the battle for the lead as Dusty holds off. Numbskull is ahead down in the turn four. Numbskull tries one more time, but Dusty will not have any of it as he's able to hold him off one final time as they come down to the line. Dusty secures his win. And two very significant things happened in this race as there you see Flip making his pass through the third place finish and Dusty holding off Numbskull to secure his championship. As we tally up the points, you will see exactly what just happened here. Exactly, Nigel, as you were alluding to, as we tally up the points and take a look at the scoreboard, we have a first here at the old Yakin Valley Speedway as we have a tie for first place at the end of a tournament finals. So what does that mean? It means for the first time ever, we are going to have a championship showdown. That's right, Funk, a one-on-one -on -one best of three showdown between Numbskull and Flip to determine who will be our champion. And with Flip having three wins in the finals over Numbskull's two, he will start this showdown with the inside lane advantage. Well, let's get it started as showdown. Race one is underway. Out the starting grid, down the back stretch, into turn one, it's Flip with the advantage over Numbskull. Numbskull's hanging with him as he makes a move in the turn two as he challenges for a lead through the chicane. Numbskull has lead into turn three, but Flip takes it right back as they exit down to turn four. Now in the final stretch, it's going to be Flip taking race one. Some amazing defensive driving skills displayed by Flip as he's able to hold off Numbskull and take the first win. Numbskull is definitely hungry to take that championship, and he was trying to prove it right there by taking a win from the outside lane. But now he has the inside advantage as we move on to showdown race two, which is now underway. As they head down to Backstretch in the turn one, they are side by side with Numbskull having the advantage over Flip. Numbskull extending his lead as he has at least a one car length advantage over Flip. Flip is trying his best to challenge for the lead, but Numbskull has a faster car as he's able to stay out in front as they come down to turn four. Oh, Numbskull is turned sideways as he gets slammed by Flip as they come across the line, but Numbskull is able to hang on to that first place win. Numbskull almost spoiling it for himself by over the drive in the car, but he's able to hang on to that win and tie it up as we have this last final race to decide who will be our champion. Just like you say, Nigel, this is it. It all comes down to this. The final race to determine who will be the C Run of Buckminster presents Concept Chaos Champion as Showdown Race 3 is now underway. Down the back stretch for the very last time in the turn one is Flip with the advantage of a Numbskull. Flip with a car link over Numbskull as they head down the turn two, but here comes Numbskull challenging for the lead in the chicane. Numbskull slips a little bit as he falls right back as, oh, we have a spin. Flip hits the wall and spins around as here comes Numbskull making a move on the inside and they come down to the line. Oh, what a finish down to the line. Flip is able to retake the lead just before crossing over the line and it looks like he's going to be our winner. Let's go back and watch that one more time as there you see them coming out of the chicane as Numbskull Skull gets a little loose as there you see flips looks like he's going to be able to hang it on but he hits the outside retaining wall and spins around as Numbskull takes this as his opportunity to make a pass on the inside of flip as they head down in the turn four however their cars are still touching as they hit the outside retaining wall as they come down the final stretch Numbskull gets loose as here comes flip down to the line and he's able to retake the lead backwards and he's gonna hold him off and flip is going to take the championship that's the type of racing that I'm talking about I'm sure to have a case of my special brew waiting in victory lane for you, Flip, courtesy of the Cousin Ricky order. <laughs> my word, wait a minute. 
Come on, man, go back and zoom in on Cousin Ricky's shack. Yes, perfect. Right there, zoom in, Funk. Has that satellite dish always been on top of Cousin Ricky's shack? Oh my god, Nigel, are you serious? Oh, come on, it can't be that easy. Has he been under our nose the entire time? Uh oh. I'll get the local constables on the dog and bone. Well, make it snappy as it's time for us to head down to Victory Lane. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the C Rono Buckmister presents Concept Chaos for Flips Racing. It's Flip! Congratulations to you, Flip, on that spectacular performance earning that championship. Absolutely, and a big shout out goes to Numbskull, Dusty Miles, and Sam Hall as being our finalists, putting on an amazing show for our fans. Of course, it doesn't just stop there. We want to give a big shout out to all the racers who were a part of this event, as it is your great bills that produce some amazing content for the fans to watch. Absolutely, and I enjoy a big shout out and thank you to all the builders out there creating these amazing race cars. That allows us to produce some exciting racing action for all the fans to see. So we hope to see you all in future events. Of course, we can't forget the most important people, and that is you, the fans. We thank you for always being a part of the racing action here at the old Yakin Valley Speedway, for it is you that keeps us going. So if you like the content you see, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to comment and share as we bring you more exciting racing action here from the old Yakin Valley Speedway. And of course, last but definitely not least, always want to give a big shout out and thank you to all the members of the Funkhauser Fan Club, as it is your contributions that help our channel grow and produce some better content. So as always, thank you. Uh, Funk, before we go, I'm heard there's an update on Cousin Ricky. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get down there. Uh, base Commander, we have infiltrated Cousin Ricky's shack, but to our surprise, this place is enormous. He has tunnels that look like they go on for miles. As a matter of fact, I'm lost myself. Somebody help. <laughs> oh, Ricky!